I'm back again to, with some awesome, exciting news. No, it's not about Puppet just yet. I will put a video up as soon as I can. I just gotta film it. Yeah, life, life is really hard to film all these things, but I'm trying to keep you guys well informed. My actual news is I went to Scare LA this past weekend and that is just obnoxious. Let's turn off the computer. Hold please. I went to Scare LA this weekend in Pasadena. It's a huge horror convention with haunts and makeup booths and just all kinds of things that is horror related. There are celebrities, there is people trying to sell their crafts. It's amazing. It's a really good con and I think if you are into that type of thing, you should definitely check it out next year. I went and checked out this booth called Rip City Effects and it's fairly new from what I understand. I checked out their website and I'll put that down below and it does say copyright 2016 so it, i'm gonna guess that they are fairly new but oh my gosh these guys are amazing they have all kinds of neat products from anywhere from makeup effects products for the body to black light products to products that make props look bloody and gross and amazing so anyway, I check out this booth and there's a guy there who says, hey, we're selling some t-shirts, 10 bucks for a t-shirt, which really isn't that bad of a deal for a t-shirt at a convention because a lot of the time they're anywhere from 25 to 35, it depends what it's for. But they're like, we're selling t-shirts for our, for our booth and they have some neat things. One of them said Rip City Effects, the, I forget what the other one was. The one I ended up getting is this fancy one for one of their bloods, which is called Fuck You Tonic. Totally bleeped that out. That's okay, but you get what I was trying to say. I went ahead and was buying the t-shirt and the guy who was running it said, oh, by the way, because you bought a t-shirt, you get to enter this raffle and you get to win some products from our shelves. I'm like, well, why not? That makes the deal even better. My chances, I would think, would be pretty slim because who wouldn't want these awesome products? Uh, but when I signed up on the list, there was maybe five people. I was kind of shocked on that. I was like, oh, I have a good chance. And then we had to come back about five o'clock or so and we showed up and there's so many people. It was a lot. The good thing though was if you didn't win the first round, you could come back the next day and hopefully win. Awesome. 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 So yeah, pretty cool stuff. But guess what? I totally won. I don't like to brag about things like this, but I am so excited because I had seen them try out their products and it looks amazing. So this video is of the products that I won, which I think in total ended up being 400 something dollars worth of product. I went online and checked out the different prices and I'll put that with what I show you. But let's get started because I'm super excited to share this with you. And also I'm not sponsored by them, even though I'm super excited and really do like their products. But I'm not sponsored by them, but if they do want to sponsor me, make sure to contact me you through any of the comments or just send me an email at hjamfx at gmail.com. Just, just selling myself. Selling myself. Anyway, let's get started. Some of their major products, you, I'm totally cutting off my, do you see this cute Edwin? And I love this shirt, by the way. They had a uh, female ones, but sadly, I have breasts. I have, it's just, that's a thing. And so their female shirts were a little bit small for me. And so I went ahead and got a mint. Who cares? It's still a cool shirt. And I'm totally going to try to get away with wearing this to work. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to lag on this. Let's get to the products. And I will test out most of them. Um, some of them I will not show completely because I want to do some makeups with them and I think it would be cooler to show off what it can do in the other one. Anywho, let's start off with the blood paste. Blood paste! So cool. So cool. I, I did get to play with this a little bit. This I you can put on the skin and I guess if you want to put it on props too, but see it's thick, it's gross, it's awesome. Oh, and I'm just making a mess of all that in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, that's more blood paste or thick blood than I've ever owned in my life. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm always doing wounds. Next, this lovely bottle right here. It's called 
Grease Monkey, which is supposed to give the look of, shake it up first. Supposed to give the, you know when people are in films and they come out from under a car and they're covered in grease and oil and all that? Or Armageddon on the oil rig, that type of thing. So this is how this works. Ooh! It also makes it look sweaty. So you just rub that in. I look like I got oil and grease and grime. So if you don't like to actually get dirty by working on cars or anything, you can get this stuff and you can uh, make it look like that you're dirty. And Grease Monkey, this awesome stuff, costs $25. Let's move on to, I need a prop. See, this is, this is my mini Bob. He's so cute, he's on a stick. Some other stuff they gave me, which is this stuff called Toxic Sauce and Hot sauce. These are for props. These are, um, I guess you could put it on your skin. I wouldn't recommend it because the haunt sauce is very, very pigmented and stain. Stains? Sorry. And, uh, the toxic sauce, it, it looks like ectoplasm from Ghostbusters, which I think is pretty cool, but I don't think it's exactly meant to be on skin. However, the website, what it told me is that both of these dry on props look shiny, but look wet still at the same time. It's really neat. I'm gonna pour some of these. Bob's gonna be our test subject. The, the, also, the Toxic works awesome in a black lip. See, you can already see that green just running down him. Up, 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 Bob's gonna drip. Little Bob's gonna drip. It's okay. But you can put that in the black light. And, and that would be cool to glow. Mini Bob, hopefully he appears in this, this whole series of testing out effects more that would be cool and now for the haunt sauce which is supposed to look like blood on prop you know i can't get enough of fake blood i'm gonna put a little bit Ooh, a little bit goes a long way i got baby wipes like on call right here so see it's just running down oh no that's okay it landed on me it's dripping on me <laughs> so see looks like running blood on bob he's happy about it he likes all kinds of stuff. Not too stainy, but I bet if you let it sit for a while, it would not be fun. So anyway, thank you, Mini Blob. Everybody say thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to do with Mini Bob now. You can hang out there. Next on the list is a, I want to say this is the eight ounce bottle, but this is what's on my shirt is the you tonic it's a fake blood more of a stagey blood so it's kind of pinky rather than um a orangey blood that you would use in film but i would still use this if because i'll take all the blood i can get really so eh, comes in this fancy little bottle and it's got this fancy little this fancy little boxer man i don't know what that accent was anyway look at this fabulous makeup i have pulled off today i'm quite proud of this anyway Back to the Rip City Doctor. I can't pronounce it. I just know though that is called a Q tonic and I'm gonna have to believe that a lot in this show. Who cares? So we're gonna take some arm stuff and just put some blood right there. Rock and rolling. See, like it's a little thick, which works. And you can just put that in wounds and stuff like that. Or mix it up down your arm. You know what this reminds me of is in, um, back in the day, if anybody remembers that movie Beethoven with the, with the giant, uh, he's a St. Bernard, I think, and there's the part where the doctor is trying to make it look like Beethoven bit him, so he takes some fake blood and <laughs> sprays it on himself and makes it, it obviously there's no bite, but he still gets away with it. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Sorry for taking a trip down memory lane. Again, check the link out down below. I'm in love with that stuff. Let's see how Bob's doing. Let's see. Still a little wet, but look how that's drying. Awesome. That's clay. Ignore that. I really just took a skull and stuck it on a stick and made mini Bob. And I'm bleeding up, but mini Bob's bleeding on the floor. Okay. What else am I moving on to? Oh, this is really cool. What? This with this handy stuff. This is called the Death Metal Rusting Kit. It 
So this is $50. What you get is a pound of the iron metal. You know, I should do my research on this. The iron metal. And then you get the 8 ounce of active from you should check out on their link below but what you do is you can take an adhesive and put this iron on top of it it's little grains you take like a fake pipe or something like that put some adhesive on it put some of this stuff all over it the iron and then you go to town and spray it and then that activates science and rusts it up and makes it you get a handy prop without actually having a rusty pipe and it looks cool. It did give me some setting sprays. Both of these say Fast Liquid Platinum on them setting spray. Uh, I don't know if there's a difference, if they have a difference between the, um, for the different sets of paints. I would think not. I don't think there is a problem there. But either way, a good setting spray for less than $30 or less than $25 is pretty good deal. So they gave me these Oops, these setting sprays. So I can set the makeup when I do these. Haley Ween is gonna be awesome. We also have fast liquids, which are, they come in all kinds of colors. I'm gonna show you how these work. Run at about $25 a bottle, which is really cool. That's pretty awesome. That's not expensive at all. You can get the whole set of fast liquids, which is a set of seven, for $150. What I feel like when I sprayed these the first time is I felt like they are liquid alcohol paints is what it smells like. That's because I smell paint. <laughs> but they, they're uh, liquid alcohol paints from what I have come to figure out. And you get a lot more paint that's in the, um, than that's in an Illustrator palette. I'm not knocking the Illustrator palette though. I think everybody who's a makeup artist should have one of those. But we're talking about Rip City effects right now. So. The only issue I had with these the first time I tried them was I sprayed them and they were very thin. And I went back to the booth and, ch and went to ask them, you know, hey, what's the pigment supposed to look like in it? I was not trying to knock anything or, you know, I didn't want to cause any problems. I just wanted to know, hey, what's this product supposed to look like so I know. And they are highly pigmented and what I was getting was not. What I figured out was is if they sit for a long time, which I'm sure these have been sitting in boxes to go to the different conventions, which isn't a huge deal, but a lot of the stuff sat in the bottom and there's a, if you can hear that, there's a little marble in it and that marble had sat in there. So the paint wasn't mixing up, but I got to my handy dandy Jeff to shake these up for me and now they work amazing. So let's try, this color is called Zombie. I'm just gonna end up spray my, I hope I don't spray the wall. Anyway, Zombie. See, look at that, that is, that's bright green. That is not what I was getting at first and I'm so happy that it ended up working out. Um, so there's that one. We have a purple bruise. They also have locks on them. See, check that out. And if you take that and let it set for a while and then just pat it, it's gonna come off and looking pretty bruisy. But keep in mind, it is alcohol in it. And that's what, it's fumy. So you gotta be careful if you're gonna end up spraying that on your actor's face or something like that. Not an issue, you just tell them, hey, don't breathe for a second and then do it real fast. Let's see, is that locked? I want to lock them. We also have this other color, dead red. Ooh, dead red. Bloody. And it's kind of a rusty brownish looking color, like a brownish blood, so realistic. Look at that. That looks like it bled on the thing. Awesome. We have, make sure you hear that ball. If, if you don't hear that ball, then it's not mixing the paint. Not a huge problem though. I mean, once we got it figured out, I wasn't I wasn't too worried. I just wanted to make sure that I knew how the colors were supposed to work and what they were supposed to look like. And they also did say, I had asked them, I said, hey, what's this supposed to look like? This is not what I'm getting. They did see from another product that had been sitting on the shelf that it was also coming out the way that I was getting it. And they said, hey, go home, try these, shake the crap out of them. If they still don't work, contact us and we will help you out and get you a new set. 
which was really cool. So their customer service rocks. Luckily, I didn't have to do that, and I got to keep all the ones that I want. So let's see. This one is called Clown. It's a white. I would should unlock it. Straight up white. I've never had a white spray color like that before. And I'm not letting these set. They can't they do set obviously, but I'm not letting these set because I don't want to continuously remove dry color on there, but they look great. This one is a brown. It's called Dirt. Love it. This you can uh it'll help you if you need to make an actor look dirty real fast. And this is what it looks like. And this is the one the guy tested for me to show me how pigmented it was. And I was like, oh, I'm not getting that. I'm getting it now. And I am so happy. <laughs> we have two more of this, this set. This one's called Cole. We are, we figured it's going to be black. And we go like this. Did you see that? Seriously. Just straight up black. How's Mini Bob doing? Oh, that's pretty much dry, and it dries looking wet. See? Exactly what it's supposed to do. This one is uh, the yellow color, which is called Jaundice. Love the name of that one. The only issue, like, same thing, this was the first one we shook up a lot. It kind of exploded in the seam just a little bit, but it doesn't seem it's causing an issue, so I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. Let's see. You see that? Like, real quick, some freaking yellow. And I love putting yellow colors in a lot of my special effects because I like making people look sick. That's just what I do. Let's see. There we go. That's all for the Fast Liquid Platinum. Those are really cool. And all $25 a piece or $150 for the whole set. Moving to our last and probably the most, the ones that I'm most excited for are the Ultraviolet, well, it says Ultra V liquids. And these are black light paints. Now, I'm not going to show you the them under the black light just yet because I really want to do some makeups with these but you're gonna get the point when I test these on my arm this one is called rad red now keep in mind this is black light red look at that gorgeous shouldn't kill me oh I got stuff on my shirt just adds to the effect hopefully the Rip City, rest in peace, Rip, Rip City, is not looking at me watching this video going, that girl does not know how to use our products. I really hope they're not doing that. Because I'm in love with this stuff. I'm just showing you guys. This one is called Electric Blue. This looks really cool under the black light. Here we go. Look at that. One spray and look at all that pigment. That's going to look so good under a black light. This one is called... This is actually another one of my favorites. It is a yellow, and it is called Yeller. How cool is that? I just love... Whoever came up with these names is highly entertaining. And here we go. One, two, three. It's a very neon -y, but once that's in under the black light, it's going to look so cool. It did. Jeff and I just sat with the black light and me spraying my leg with just different colors. It looked awesome. <sighs> this one is called Viper Green. It, it, it's green. <laughs> Do you see that? So cool. So pretty. These are all pretty colors. This one might be my second favorite. It's called Hot Pink. I like pink. I gotta shake this one though. I didn't shake this one. You gotta hear that ball. See, there we go. There's the hot pink. Make sure you hear that ball in there or else it's not mixing it. And the final color I have, which I need to get. The... Oh no, my hair tie. The hair thing fell out. It's okay. Final color that I have is called Blaze. And we go one. Two. There we go. Actually, I want to show you this hot pink one more time because I don't think it got mixed up enough. There we go. See? 
I knew that was too light. Their colors are not light at all. You just got to mix them up good. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I won. The only products I don't think I got, which I understand because they are like $50 for a tub of each thing, which I do plan on getting eventually. I just need some money because I don't have any. What I plan on getting is this product called Smut. Check it out on their website. They have a blood version, a brown version, which that grosses me out. Black version to look like the tar, and then they have one in the tonic color, which I don't think it, it looks awesome in the black light, but basically what it is is it's this like it's hard to explain. It's like a slime and you go like this kind of with it and it just strings along. It looks so cool and I want some so bad. It's just, I don't have the money for it yet. But eventually I will be buying those products because it just looks, that's where they got me at first. They're just playing with a huge barrel of this grossness. But anyway, I want to thank Rip City Effects for giving me all these products in their raffle. They didn't have to do a raffle. They could have just sold all their products which wouldn't be hard because these are great and I can't wait to use them on other things. But thank you so much. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but if they want to sponsor me, contact me. I'm all for this. <laughs> yeah, definitely check out their website. I'll put the link down below, but it is ripcityeffects.com, R-I-P-C-I-T-Y-F-X.com. Check them out. Go see their stuff. If you see them at a horror convention, say hi. You don't have to tell them that it was me who told you to say hi, but you can tell them, hey, I saw you on this girl's channel, Haley Joanna MFX, and they won't know who you're talking about. Or maybe they will. Who knows? But yeah, I got a bunch of new makeup to play with for 52 Weeks of Horror on that channel, for my channel. It's gonna be awesome, guys, and I can't wait to show you what I've, what I've created. I can't wait for them to see what I've created. Hopefully they can check out this video as well. And again, if you have any ideas what I can do with this stuff, put the comments down below. I'm all for ideas. If you have products you want me to try out, let me know. If you just want to say hi and go, I love this video, say hi, mom. <laughs> Put it down below. Anyway, guys, I'm so excited, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry if it's long. There's a lot of product, obviously, to go through to show you guys how it works. I, I'm just beyond words right now because this is so exciting. And I got a cool t-shirt. It's It was a good weekend. So anyway, love you guys so much. Like, share, subscribe. Send it to your grandparents and gross them out if you want to. And I'll see you soon. Bye!